Hey, it's your favorite local realtor, Aaron Mellum with Premier Property Group. There we go. Largest locally owned brokerage in the Pacific Northwest. My name, did I say my name? My name is Aaron Mellum. Yeah. I help people achieve financial security and freedom through real estate. And right now I am in my shop taking cover from the rain. I don't know. Yeah, it's nasty out there. <laughs> Anyways, today's question is how long do you need to live in a house before selling to avoid capital gains now i get this question quite a bit now it doesn't necessarily it doesn't really apply to most people because in general now let me preface this i am not a tax accountant okay so you need to talk to your tax accountant but in general the rule is you have to have lived in your home for two of the last five years so technically, the way I read that is it could have been rented for three years in the last five. And if you live there for two, then it's considered your primary residence and you would not be held liable for capital gains. Now, again, talk to your tax accountant, but that's the rule is two out of the last five years. So if you have any questions about that, I know there are a lot of misconceptions about 1031 exchanges. I've done other videos as well so you can check those out or feel free to reach out to me and i will hook you up with my guys who do the 1031 tax exchanges or if it's a simple question i can point you in the right direction again my name is aaron millam with premier property group and remember never settle for less than extraordinary mm -hmm.